Hi everybody. I just finished doing a water change here on my 55 gallon T-bar tank. And I noticed something interesting happened. I want to shoot a little video about it. It's going to be sort of a little warning or a tip, but it's only going to apply to people that have their own well water and their own water system. This is just one of those oddball things that never occurred to me until it happened. If you follow my videos regularly, you'll know that I often talk about and even recommend setting a simple little egg timer when you do a water change on your tank. When my tank is refilling, uh, I'll set the timer and that way it saves me from forgetting my tank is filling and walking away and letting it overflow. The downside to that is you've got to have a pretty good idea of how much time it's going to take to finish filling the tank from wherever you are when you set that timer. And on many occasions I have you know, come in and, and seen that the tank was about to overflow and ran in and turned the hose off real quick only to have the timer go off three minutes later. You know, so in that case, the timer was not something that would have been uh, anything that did me any good. However, once you sort of get used to your tanks filling in a certain amount of time, you kind of get into a groove, you kind of get into a routine, and you kind of take it for granted that this is how long it takes to fill your tanks. And so today when I was filling my tank, I was here working on it and cleaning the glass, wiping the glass down. And normally I'm done cleaning the glass and I've put everything away and I'm just waiting for the tank to finish filling up. But today the tank was done filling up before I was even done wiping the glass down. I had to stop wiping the glass down to go turn the hose off. And I was scratching my head as to why the tank filled so fast when it occurred to me that I had just done a little bit of work to my water system. And one of the things I did was I cleaned my pre-filter. Uh, I've got a little filter, it's sort of a fine mesh. It's not quite as fine as you would see in one of those reusable uh, coffee filters. Uh, in fact, hang on a minute, we'll go have a look at it. So that actually filters the water right out of the ground before it even goes into my main filter system. And you can see the red knob on the bottom there will allow you to really flush it out and that rinses the water off of the surface. Uh, it starts from the outside, it flows through the filter. You can kind of see those white slats. In between those slats is the fine mesh material and the water goes through that to the inside and then up and out and over and into my whole entire system that I've got over here with all this kind of good stuff going on. But that filter right there was what I popped out and cleaned. I actually unscrewed this entire canister, removed the filter, and cleaned it because it was really dirty. And it made a huge difference. So I'm not exactly sure how to categorize that little tip or whatever you want to call it because that's not something that most people will ever really encounter uh, especially if you've got municipal water or city water you're not going to have to go and do maintenance on your own filters but i noticed the other day when i was in the shower the water was flowing as though somebody was running the water it just really seemed like a diminished amount of water pressure and it i just couldn't figure out what it was and i went and i changed that filter and now my showers are nice and you know, full and vigorous again, and it actually feels like I'm taking a shower uh, rather than being outside in a rainstorm. So, never crossed my mind when I started doing my water change that that more vigorous water flow was going to apply to all of my, you know, faucets when I turn them on. I'm just going to get a lot more free-flowing water, and as a result, I filled this tank up probably... 30 or 40 percent faster than I normally would have and if I hadn't been standing here in the room and watching myself do it you know as I was working on the tank um, whether I'd set that timer or whether I simply remembered to just come back in a few minutes you know I, I would have had water all over the floor today if it wasn't for me being right here standing here so again oddball little tip if you've got your own water system and you clean any of your filters or you do maintenance like that you know, sort of re-familiarize yourself with how long it takes to refill your tanks and do basic maintenance work that you do on a routine basis where you might have gotten into a habit of it takes this long to do this or it takes that long to do the other thing. 
you know, if you've just changed out all your filters or whatever, maybe reconsider and those first couple of times stay right there with your tank until you're sure of how long it's going to take to do those things. So there was your little oddball tip of the day. Make sure you subscribe. You never know what you're going to get with me. It could be anything, even these little oddball tips. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget this one here is my T-Bar tank. You can see him in the back there busily making a burrow for himself. So hopefully that means he's getting better and better and his health is continuing to prove. So make sure you're subscribed. That way you won't miss anything I got coming up on this tank or any of my other ones. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.